Okay, here we are for the squid race. Here you are on your standard squid that you must bring for the race. You need to have a mine launcher on the front, a mine launcher on the side, and a flare gun on the rear. I have about five minutes before somebody calls me on Skype, so let's go ahead and move along. Alright, we have uh, the starting line here. That's going to be this B line you can see on the map. Once your nose is on that, I'm going to try to get behind it here. So you can see what that should look like. Hopefully I don't biff into the cliff, otherwise I'm going to have to move that start line. Now it looks like we'll be alright. We'll probably shift it down slightly, but this is the start line right around here. Once everyone's lined up, they will give the signal to go, and you will go. Uh, for the race, once it begins, do not use your mine launchers, your flare guns, your tar, until you reach certain checkpoints. Once you start the race, don't use your flare gun pretty much at all. Uh, you will not be using that. You will be using the mine launchers to fight off the other racers if you have a, if you, if you have a need to, I guess. You don't have to mine them. Right, right up here we have our first checkpoint. It is this rock here, and this rock here. Once you pass through this, you're allowed to use mines. So at this point we go ahead and start mining them, because I want the lead. Right up here we have our second checkpoint, which is this rock here, and this little rock cliff face here. Once you pass through this, it's okay to use tar. Remember that you have to use tar sparingly, you can't just leave it on all the time and be like, yeah, have fun back there in tar world. You can't do that. You gotta do one tar between each checkpoint. So right now I could do one tar. Once I pass checkpoint three, I can do a second tar. Once I pass through checkpoint four, I can do one more. You can't save them up, so I, if I don't use tar until like checkpoint five, I can't just play it three tar at once. Because that'd be crazy. Alright, this is that was a uh, checkpoint back here. We're going to the next checkpoint right now. This one's a little bit further up. It's gonna be this little tiny rock that's up here. You can see it on the map kinda under that pipe. This rock right here. All you have to do is pass over this and you are good to go to the next checkpoint. Right, I've passed over that. Our next checkpoint is gonna be this pole right along here. You just have to go outside of that actually quite close to this one. Once you go around this pole, you are good to go to the next checkpoint, which is really far. So we're going to go ahead and just take the long route here. We're going to go along the outside. Going to burn some more kerosene. Yeah, so this is a checkpoint race. You can take whatever route you want to take to get to the points. You don't have to follow a certain, like, very restricted path. Whatever you need to do to get there. As long as you hit the checkpoint. Oh, I'm gonna biff. No, we're alright. I'll hit something else, don't worry. Gotta pass through here. This is not the checkpoint. But shortly past this. I just like taking this route. Alright, so this is the checkpoint here. Is this rock, and I guess this hill here. You just have to go around this rock, and you should be good to go. Just right around this area. Right around there. And there you go. That is the last checkpoint until you hit the finish line. Although I guess the finish line counts as a checkpoint, because you have to do two laps. So once we're through, I'm taking the long route here, so you can take whatever route, whatever route you need to. We're gonna start flying low, so you can see better. You don't, you can fly whatever height you need to, as long as you pass through the area. All right, so here's a checkpoint up here. It's this little structure thing that I'm looking at, and this big rock along the side. So it's right between these two. Once you pass through here, that will be the finish line but you have one more lap to go, so just keep on keeping on, and you'll be good to go.